Hello everyone, I'm Cool Guy. welcome back, and today we have the final pinnacle weapon to review, the Oxygen SR3 Scout Rifle. Now if you missed the Recluse and the 21% Delirium, those are going to be down in the description below, and after the video, I have both of those placed as the two videos in the end screen. The Oxygen SR3 is the Vanguard pinnacle weapon, you pick up the quest from Zavala, it requires you to complete the Best of Offens Triumph. For the steps, you must generate 500 orbs, get 1000 precision final blows, and then complete strikes and nightfalls. If you just play Strikes or Nightfalls, all this will get done, and if you do your daily and weekly requirements, you're going to end up having this thing over the course of a season. Remember to have on your Masterwork weapons because double kills grant orbs, and those count towards your orbs generated, and put on supers that create the most orbs. Once completed, you get the Oxygen. This is a 180 RPM Solar Scout, and before we get into the stats, the stats that are about to be shown are with the perks added due to this being curated. The base stats are a tad bit lower in the categories, but on a base level, those stats, out of the 11 180 RPM scouts in the game, the Oxygen has the best range, stability, reload, and aim assist, and second in handling. All the stats are at the top of this archetype. This is a monster 180 RPM scout, so let's get that right. For the overall stats, we have a range of 68, stability of 60, handling of 47, reload of 50, aim assist stat of 67, and recoil direction stat of 60. For the perks, we have Polygonal Rifling for increased stability, Accurize Rounds for increased range, Dragonfly, Precision Kills create an elemental damage explosion, we know what that is, and what we will call its pinnacle perk, Mega Nura. Dragonfly deals more damage based on the number of precision hits dealt to the target beforehand, the stacks of times 3. It also comes with the range masterwork, the range stat has aim assist and accuracy tied into it, so the higher the range, the more of that gets added. Think about Queen Breaker and its high aim assist, it's really good hitbox. The Oxygen has the highest aim assist stat and the highest range out of all 180s, so it's the stickiest 180 in the game, so a range masterwork is perfect. And we'll talk about this in the PvE section, it's very sticky. The only option for this scout is going to be a Dragonfly spec to increase the radius and damage for Dragonfly. This perk does work, and for some reason, players think it only increases the radius and not the damage, or vice versa. This is wrong, you want the spec on. We all know what Dragonfly does, but it's Mega Nura that's really in question. I've done multiple tests for both PvE and PvP. The controlled setting is going to be in PvP, though. We're going to start there. I tested Mega Nura times 1, 2, and 3 on a base Oxygen, and then 1, 2, and 3 again with a Dragonfly spec. I tested regular Dragonfly on a different weapon than that weapon with a Dragonfly spec. I tested the Ace Firefly, Chromatic Fire, then the Ace plus Chromatic Fire, all the explosions. So I guess we're going to learn a lot about Dragonfly explosions in Destiny 2 today. And after these numbers, we will compare them to PvE, and yes, those definitely are different numbers. But in PvP, a regular Dragonfly does 65 explosion damage. With the mod, it goes up to 96. With the Oxygen, Precision Hits grant Mega Nura. Each one adds up to a stack of times 3, so we get 3 explosion numbers for PvP. Times 1 is a regular 65 explosion dragonfly damage, times 2 is 109, that's 67%, and then a times 3 is 117, that's 80% increase. With the dragonfly spec, times 1 is 96, times 2 is 160, again that's 67%, and then times 3 is 172, that's 79% increase. So the times 1 differences between 65 and 96 and times 3 from 117 to 172 is fairly substantial. Note that the dragonfly explosion is about 7 meters, and with a dragonfly spec added that extends to about 8.5. The Ace of Spades Firefly does 56, the Chromatic Fire does 209, but the enemies need to be really close, within 2 meters of each other, but it can one-shot the other enemy. The Chromatic Fire Ace of Spades is 56 plus 209, and that added damage from Firefly Ace of Spades helps to extend that 2 meters to 4 meters for a kill range. So we can take away a couple things, the Dragonfly spec is substantial, it does 96, that would make the enemy one-shot with a melee. With Mega Nura, it can deal really good damage, and we'll talk about that in the PvP section in its application. But the Chromatic Fire is still king in the Crucible, it's the only explosion that can one-shot an enemy that's near another. I'll be keeping an eye on Chromatic Fire, going through all of its changes, but this is how Dragonfly should work on all Dragonfly weapons, in my opinion, for PvP, but on the other hand, this is what makes Chromatic Fire exotic. So pretty much, explosion-wise, in the Crucible, any kinetic weapon with Chromatic Fire will deal bigger explosion damage than the Oxygen. In PvE, the numbers change, which isn't surprising. The hard part is consistency, because the enemies move around, but a regular Dragonfly does 1,392 explosion damage, and with a mod, it does 2,041. Once again, with Oxygen, Precision Hits proc Mega Nura. Each one adds up to a stack of times 3, we get 3 numbers, other than base. So base is 1,392, a times 1 is 2,325, 67%. Times 2 is 3257, 134%, and then times 3 is 3898, 180%. Here is why you want the Dragonfly spec, because at base, you now do 2041, a times 1 is 3408, 67%, times 2, 4775, 134%, and a times 3 is 5714 explosion damage, 180%. So the same modifiers are applied, but that extra damage from the spec comes into play. Since you can keep Mega Nura x3, you can expect to deal the x3 a lot in PvE. 
This is the difference of a regular dragonfly weapon doing 1,392 and the oxygen at times 3 doing 5,714. It's a huge difference. When you look at it, the base headshot of oxygen is doing 1,796 and times 3 explosion is 5,714. The explosion damage is over 3 times a base critical headshot. And that explosion damage does have drop off in relation to the center of the explosion. In the other test, the chromatic fire does 3,115 for an explosion, the ace firefly does 1,772, and the ace plus the chromatic fire is 4,887. So it's reversed. What we can take away is that the oxygen SR3 with the dragonfly spec at times 3 mega nura deals the most explosion damage in the game. And as we talked about earlier, when you take into account all of those stats, the range stability being the highest out of all the 180s, the Oxygen SR3 is the best 180 RPM scout in the game for all around utility, and it's not even close. So let's take this 180 RPM Oxygen and compare it to a 180 RPM Trust. We have the same RPM, but this Trust, we have a Rampage, Dragonfly, and a Dragonfly Spec. So you land your Precision Blow on one enemy, and if that explosion kills two or more, you're gonna have Rampage times three to proc. And even though the base headshot does a tad less than oxygen, you do have Rampage to go along with that Dragonfly, and the Rampage stacks are going to increase that headshot damage. Or let's take the Waking Vigil. I do have Dragonfly on this. The Waking Vigil is ideal because you're doing 2,823 to the head. So here is the would you rather part. And here's the trade-off and how to look at it. With a hand cannon, depending on RPM, impact, you would get more consistent one-shot kills and proc regular Dragonfly with the spec added. You can move target to target, and keep in mind range and accuracy issues, especially for console users, you're going to have issues at distances. Or you have the Oxygen Scout, and Bungie has said that since you have your distance, that's why scouts haven't really got a big buff in PvE. So this means you might have to take an extra shot or two sometimes to down an enemy. You do have a bigger mag of 16 in the Scout Rifle, and since the perk procs on headshots, even though you have to shoot an extra headshot sometimes, all that's really doing is powering Mega Nura. And again, the big thing, you can do it all from a distance. They added range and range masterwork, so it makes those distance critical hits a little bit easier. And that's really how you should look at it. It takes an extra shot sometimes, but all you're doing is powering Mega Nura. Which again, times three is very strong, and you can do it from a distance. I would say that the Oxygen, with all things considered, is a pretty good scout rifle for PvE. It's great, actually, and when Solar Burn is on, I will use it for Solar. And in activities where I'm under leveled, the explosions can probably put in a lot of work for me. You can hit ads, clear areas, and when majors are around the area, you're going to be getting the best explosion damage in the game with Mega Nero times 3 to damage them in that area around them. And for PvE, I've seen a lot of players on the fence about it. I've also seen some weird information on it. It's an odd weapon. What really holds it down is the 180 RPM archetype. They went with a hung jury vibe from Destiny 1. Now, a 200 RPM would have been really nice, 150 RPM would have been really nice. But what really needs to happen is you need to go out there and test this thing for yourself, see what it's doing. We have the numbers in this review, how well it does and how potent the times 3 is, but you need to see if it has a spot instead of your Dragonfly Vouchsafe or let's say a Dragonfly Waking Vigil. And we'll bring it up again, being that it is a scout, distance does play a big part of it, so Reckoning, things like Gambit Prime, Final Encounters in Raid Areas. With this scout, you do have the best Dragonfly in the game, the best explosion damage, and there's nothing really not to like in my personal opinion. I think it's a great scout rifle, and it will be useful for all of Destiny 2's life cycle. In PvP, the oxygen does 55 to the head and 35 to the body, so you need 3 headshots and a body shot to achieve its 1 second time to kill. Now that 1 second time to kill is the slowest out of all scout rifles in the game. The 180s were in a really good spot at the start of Destiny 2, but now other archetypes are running the show. But just like in PvE, the thing that really sets it apart is Mega Nura. If you land 4 headshots, that kill will be a times 3 explosion. So like in this clip at the start of the match, we get a kill, Mega Nura stacks are going on, we have a 169, 164, 80, 130. That's the good explosion going on, and all the enemies were either cleaned up or they ran away. That's what the scout's really good at. Since the explosion reaches out a little bit further with the spec, and the damage from Mega Nura is stretched out with it, you can tag an enemy just enough to make them weak enough to be able to let's say 3-tap them, and so on. And remember, if someone's up in the air, like this explosion collateral right here, the explosion goes straight down from where you got the kill. It's like a missile that drops straight down. When I've been playing with the Oxygen, that's what I've been doing. Longer sideline maps, midtown, and on maps where players like to hold lane, the Oxygen can really put in work. Spreading that damage around when you get a headshot, it's pretty fun to use, but obviously not the most optimal choice. Even to Polaris Lance, and obviously Luna and the others. But you can expect things like this to happen when you run the Oxygen in PvP. Collaterals, good damage from your explosions to nearby enemies. It's serviceable, but kind of limited due to its archetype. Overall, I personally really enjoy the Oxygen, but the review is here to present information, that way you guys can make a decision. 
I do encourage you to get it, and again, main thing is to add a Dragonfly spec, it puts it into another gear. And how I think about it, and maybe you can too, if it takes another shot to down an enemy, all you're doing is powering up Mega Nura. And finally, Scout Reloader Gauntlets are going to be your friend. But if you guys are new to the channel, remember to hit the subscribe button. If you are subscribed, thank you so much for your continued support. I would like to know your thoughts on Oxygen. If you have it, what do you think? And if you don't, from what you've seen, what are your thoughts? Thank you guys for watching, and until the next one, I am Cool Guy.